Hey guys, it's Mark, uh, and I've got a bit of a tip for you. Actually, a little bit of a construction project, but a, a bit of a tip. So, um, anytime we mix resins, uh, you have to mix more than you need so that you don't come up short when you're pouring your piece. But then every time you have some stuff left over, and this one I poured quite a bit too much, and so now I have this hard, useless puck of resin, which, uh, well, that's a waste. So what do we do with that? Um, you hear this term bandied about, scrap mold, and uh, I didn't really know what it was for a while and kind of figured this out a while back. But uh, what you do is, um, we're going to be making a spaceship interior uh, pretty soon, and uh, you'll get to see that. Um, but uh, you need a lot of greeblies, little bits and pieces of tchotchkes, little, little uh, relief pieces, little sci-fi things that make that effect all over the room. Uh, we'll have more to it than that, but it's one of those main components. And, uh, well, to sit there and just make a, a greebly mold and pour that stuff, that's certainly something you can do. However, while we're working on other projects, we'll always need sci-fi parts in the future. So the strategy is you make a greebly mold that is for your scrap resin. So anytime I mix resin, what I have left over, I will pour into this mold. And it can be multiple layers because it's all going to be painted in the end. It's going to be covered. So it could be, it could be five different layers of red, blue, green, stone, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, what we're doing is we're going to slowly make these greeblies just with our, our waste. And that way, we're not just making a lot of waste plastic, which is bad for the environment and bad for your wallet. Uh, so we're going to uh, make that mold and kind of show you how that's a simple box mold, open back so that you can just pour your scrap in easily. You don't want to do this as a two-part mold because then you, you need to have the correct volume if you're making this a two-part mold. So open back, simple mold, and we'll show you what we're doing. So this is just a selection of parts that, uh, that I grabbed uh, from a plumbing section. These are just PVC caps. Uh, these, would, uh, these are caps for, uh, for threaded pipe. Um, these are hose connectors, uh, which we will actually use as polyethylene hose connectors. It's got a nice luminous effect, and it makes some great uh, sci-fi uh, hose. Um, and uh, just, just little bits and pieces. We actually have more than just this right here, but this will be one mold, and I'll make another one that has some gauge fronts and stuff like that on it. Um, and uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna hot glue these guys down, dam the ends where these are, where these are cut in half. Uh, we'll dam that end so that the mold or the uh, resin can't flow underneath it, and uh, pour silicone over it, and that'll, that'll make our, our scrap mold. So, as I'm arranging these parts right here, what I'm trying to do is make sure that I've got a really substantial margin uh, between bits because I've got some of it's fairly deep, some of it's kind of shallow, but I want to make sure this is going to be a really robust mold. Uh, so I want to make sure I'm not just giving myself a quarter of an inch of silicone between parts. Um, that would make an okay mold, but it wouldn't last as long. Uh, I don't want anything that's going to tear or anything like that, and uh, this thing's going to kind of sit around the shop and get beat up. So I want to make sure that uh, I, I give myself plenty of margin. A little clay here to dam up these open ends uh, will keep our silicone from, well, if the silicone goes inside there, that's counterproductive. So we're trying to keep that from happening. So just doing a little shavy slicey. That's a word. Two words, actually. Two very good words. The best, best words. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got political. Uh, and, uh, and I'll do that for all these guys, and we'll pour some silicone after making a, we've got to make a, a, a wall first, but it uh, shouldn't take too long. Quick note, uh, this clay that I'm using, this plastiline, is, has no sulfur in it. 
Uh, you do not want to use anything that has sulfur in it to, uh, to, if for anything else that you're going to mess with silicone with. Sulfur and silicone do not get along. They don't play well with others. All right, Preston demolded this guy uh, off camera. Uh, he's got it all cleaned up and ready to go. I am about to pour one of our little crystal key bases you have seen in a previous video. And uh, this should be a good opportunity for me to use my scrap molds just for a little bit. So <clears throat> I'm gonna pour a tiny bit in him. Get him all the way down. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I've got this much resin left over. So let's, uh, that guy. And he is not completely full, but that's exactly the point of this thing. I can just, uh, I can just fill him up with the next batch that I do next time. I'll hit that one and one other little object and sooner or later, this whole thing will be full and we'll pop him out and do it over again and keep doing that into eternity because it never ends. A week has gone by. It doesn't feel like it though, does it? It has. Um, the, uh, we've got a, a lot that came out of this thing in a week. It's it kind of amazing how much waste we have. Um, but I'll show a couple of these to camera so you can see that, uh, where's that good one that I had? Oh yeah, here we go. That is, uh, this one is three different pores uh, this one is at least two. You can see it's gray. Actually, it's three as well. Um, so that's three different pores went into making this guy. It's just dumping little bits of material all the time whenever we have it, which is a lot. Um, and we've been casting a lot of this stone stuff right now, and so it's kind of weird to see this fitting in stone. But uh, it's going to be painted. doesn't matter. Um, so this gives us a very good start for our sci-fi bits, greeblies. And uh, we even did a, uh, I did some brush in powder on one of them to, uh, to see how that came out because we're going to be doing uh, some bits for the pyramid that I can't disclose. Pos so I'm not sure. But uh, uh, so we did that as a test. And uh, anyway, so all of this stuff would have been waste had we w wasted it. We didn't waste it. We have more videos coming out soon. Uh, we've got Pyramid 2 is going to be coming out soon. We're going to start building our spaceship. That's going to be really cool. Uh, it's not just the spaceship. It's also a whole bunch of props and stuff that go into that uh, to make an interactive sci-fi experience. Um, so stay tuned for that stuff. Hit the notification thing, and you'll be notified when we come out with a new video. Uh, and subscribe so that you can do that. I think they're, they're linked. You have to subscribe, and you hit notify. Anyway, you'll be notified. Um, as these now irregular, uh, irregularly timed videos start coming out. Uh, so you know when they happen and you can keep up with all this stuff. Do that. <laughs>